the Philadelphia 76ers. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the side. To overcome the devastating injury. Well, you know, he didn't play his first two years in the league. Those questions were fair to ask. I mean, is this guy ever going to get on the court? But once he did... Hayward finds ball. Three-pointer. And another three for Charlotte. As hot as... Shot clock at five. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Oubre, good. Player of the game. LaMelo Ball. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. He doesn't take over games like this very much, but it's always possible. And Defensive effort. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chipping. Gets the three to fall to Doris Marcus Smart. His defense sets the tone for this team. It does, B.A., there's no doubt about it. They feed off both his energy and his attitude. There are so many little things. Back to ball. This one for three. Connects from downtown. Give him eight. You can't help him. Ball against Smart. Back to Hayward. Down low. Here's Ball. That one's good. And it's Hayward with the setup. Ball's got ten points. Now Smith. Back to Ball. And he lobs it up top. Athleticism, boy, can he elevate. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And ball is even better. The sophomore campaign, he, he continues to grow his game. In the corner, it's Hayward. That falls. Nice feed that time from ball. Entering the league, this is where Hayward had to improve. And he had. Hornets leading by 11. Outside ball. And the pass to Washington. Over Jackson. And he's on the ball. That's specifically his. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Oubre for three. And another three for Charles. has got four this quarter. And off in time. And so it's Charlotte up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. It's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Here's Ball. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Charlotte's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. The drive by Ball. Plumley trying to break loose. The ball with the bucket. A nice move. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And that makes it a one-possession game, guys. Got to be the biggest free throws of the game thus far. Ball with the bucket. And ball. The game has been going for Brooklyn. The Hornets off to a slow start. They trail by six. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. Didn't feel a deal was there. And Durant will continue to play. But you feel like this story could drag on until the trade deadline. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. He hasn't had his best game, but they've gotten enough production elsewhere, so it hasn't really mattered. And Ball puts up a deep three. Good ball. to take the lead and it's the Hornets another three I think he got to knock it down Boy, that's a look he has to finish and he knows it blown opportunity the kick out to ball jacks up a three gets the three to fall for Charlotte they've gone three of four off to a nice start easy to see that this Hornet squad loves to play at a fast pace and for good reason they're built to do just that they push the ball up the court fast hacking on defense getting those hands out and knocking the ball free I really like their energy defensively and I think we've also got to talk about the tempo they played with right from the get-go I mean they've been deadly in transition too Rogier out on the wing with Hayward. Washington and Plumlee patrol the paint. And it's Ball in at the point. That's the group starting the second. Hayward with it. 
Ball outside. Six to shoot. The three. And score it. That now makes him stretch four at times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward, but we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turn Time now. Ball, he's checked in for book night. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. DiVincenzo comes in for Poole. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Steve Clifford was discussing with his players. He told his squad to pour on the gas.